Hello ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I decided to get a Uniview 10 port POE switch. So those are the model here. Yeah, uh, it's NSW2020 10T POE. So this is my first time. I've been using Hikvision POE switches, Netgear, but this time I've decided to get a Uniview 8 port POE switch. I hope it won't disappoint me. I hope it won't disappoint me. I need five of these, but I decided to only get two to see how they look like. I'm gonna only open one. Okay, you can see here. We got a power cord. And we got the power adapter here. It's kind of big. Absolutely big. Okay, let's see the switch itself. <coughs> Here's the switch. All right, so we got <coughs> 10 port, 8 APOE, 2 for uplink. So those two ports are not POE. So you can link <coughs> two switches by plugging the cable on those two uplink. Okay. And you can hang it as then you want to. You can go like this, like this, or like this from here, from those holes here. So one thing I'm not happy with it, it doesn't have two lights. As you can see those lights here, flashlight. On the Hig Vision switches, there are two light. One is so if there's a POE, and the other light so if there's data. So this <coughs> universe switch doesn't have the orange light on this corner here for the POE. This is something I don't really like. But anyway, that's not that important to me. The most important to me is this switch really send correctly data to my network, okay? So I'm going to the installation right now. Later on, I'm gonna plug it and then I will see how it look like. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like it, share, and subscribe. Ciao.